Okay, how you doing today? How y'all doing? This is the Nerds of Matters. I am your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, the best film writer and director, of St. Louis Facts, award-winning published author, activist, journalist, business owner, Lacey G. Soda Turner. Uh, today, uh, you know, we got to me an iconic figure, you know, uh, actress, business owner, life coach, mentor. It's been 30 years since she was in the iconic. You know, music video, Brenda's got a baby. We got the original Brenda herself, Miss Ethel Love. Welcome to the Dare of the Matters platform and the list of the Lacey podcast. Thank you, Lacey. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so humble and honored. Thank you. Oh, man. Ooh, I call them accolades. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank um, you. Thank uh, you. Uh, man, I thank you for, uh, I thank you for uh, being on a platform. You know, uh, I always try to come back and you know interviews to be people that was great or who I felt people who made an impact in the world and you know I strive to try to find you so I'm blessed and thankful that you allowed me to even interview you. oh wow so my first question to you is uh where were you born and raised and how was your upbringing I was born in Richmond California um back in the 70s middle 70s you know I'm not like like 70s 70s baby Okay. Um, upbringing was um, in Pentecostal um, household, saved mother and father, two brothers. Um, you know, my grandparents was around both sides of the family, aunties, big families. Um, mom and dad have 10, nines, brothers and sisters and stuff like that. So I have aunties and uncles. Um, back in them days, you know, your family had a lot of, you know, children, you know, so mm -hmm. that's my upbringing and where I'm from. Okay. Um, so how did you meet uh, Tupac? I met Tupac through my um, older brothers um, and my guy brother. They all used to, um, you know, hang around with one another um, in the neighborhood, right. around the community and things like that. Um, so, yeah, that's how I ended up meeting Tupac. Okay. Uh with the time that you did get to spend with him, how was he as a person? Um, he was, you know, quiet, you know, artistic people, you know, when you're kind of different, you know, back in our day, you know, people used to cap on each other rapping and stuff like that. So, you know, who grew up in that era where people will rap and cap on each other and things like that. So you'll see him do them type of things, but that was normal stuff you see on the schoolyard, you know? Yeah. Um, and he was very... um. You know, to himself at times, too, because I know he was still coming out um, trying to do his own album as well. So I believe he was doing a lot of observing and looking around, you know, to capture things to inspire him to write. Uh, well, the question to you, how did you get the role, the lead role as, to, you know, Brenda? <laughs> um, well, like like I said, him, Tupac and my brothers, they are um, really good friends. My god brother is really good friends and things like that. So I guess him watching me and knowing some of my background, I've been with the arts and things like that, that I like the arts. And um, he saw that I was a teen mother as well. So he knew I would relate to the son as as, um, as well. So um, um, he asked my brother. And when he asked my brother, I told my brother, um, why Tupac can ask me himself? You know, he see me. <laughs> He, we speak, you know, we talk like why he can't ask me myself, you know, me not thinking, you know, he probably trying to have respect for my brother before approach me or my um, my kid's father um, at that time to before he come approach me or something like that. Or, I don't, you know, get shut down. He don't know, you know, you know, how people are back in them days. So, Because um, so, he was that big star, like what he, what, he, what he turned out to be then, right? So he was just... Yeah. Like, Exactly. So he, um, I told him, my brother asked him to ask me. So he asked me and I told me I'd do it. Okay. And that's how I received the role. Uh, so what do you think 
uh, I don't know if you know this, what do you think made him like write that song or what was his mindset with this? Well, um, in the midst of that song, I was told that um, he read the article coming back from um, New York on a flight. Um, my brothers them, you know, tell me the story how it, you know, came about. And um, he was um, upset about the article and how, you know, it had taken place. So um, he said, I'm gonna write this song about this, um, this story. And I'm wondering if your sister, she's going to, you know, be out there. I'm going to put her out there. She, this song going to be a, a hit. I'm going to ask if she'll be you know, being part of it. You think she'll be part of it? And, you know, he told my brother about that. Um, driving, I me mean, coming from the area, wherever they was coming from, I think um, L.A. or something, but they was all together on the plane. And he, he um, told him about that. And that's how I um, found out he had me already in mind when he was writing it that day, you know. So that was, like, pretty cool.